So, Plants vs. Zombies 2 is a mobile game that is a part of the Plants vs. Zombies series from PopCap. During the time of making PVZ2, PopCap was bought by EA or Electronic Arts. It was released and it used to be one of my favorite games to play when I was younger. It was released in 2012 and it's still a decent game, but it's one of the games built completely by EA or Electronic Arts. What I mean by that is, a certain plants hold a new are for four fucking nine or five goddamn dollars. Yep, five fucking dollars for a plant, old or new. Of course, it's a free mobile game, so there's that. So there's gonna be a lot of money needed to play the game. But not making for PVC two is really cool. I definitely recommend it, or at least try it. Building the .json file to create certain requirements in the code and to pass as a working level, it's really cool to structure, placing your zombies is pretty cool, I definitely recommend trying it out. But enough of coding, let's look at the game. So now there's levels in the game. I don't know what I was going on there. It's EA, so you need to pay to play, kind of. What I mean by levels, my brain just hurt there. When I said levels, my brain broke thinking that there's, I'm referring to the base game levels, but no, I'm referring that plants can get levels. It's EA, so you also need to kind of play, or pay to play, kind of, if I say, because, you know, coins, gems, plants, costs money. Real world money, not in-game currency. The in-game currency is worth real world money. It's pretty stupid. Its difficulty is pretty decent, to be honest. To remove the entirety of the post game for, I think it was ancient Egypt, Pirate Seas, Wild West, Far Future, and Modern Day. Maybe a Dark Ages, I don't remember. I think that was it though. So they ruined the game kind of, and they look at, they pretty much just like took the Angry Birds to um, online comp competition thing. Like literally, they just took that shit. They took the arena from that it's that's where they got it pretty much ripped it right whoops pretty much ripped it right from the game etc but there are good aspects of the game <laughs> like every world is creative even the chinese edition was a cool yes the chinese edition has worlds that the american version doesn't and a lot of plants such as the cattail from the og games yep that was in there not in america Gatling P was in America, wait, um, was in China, and then, I, I keep dropping them, like, holy shit. I'm just gonna keep it there. Anyways, uh, they brought Gatling P in the game recently, that was pretty cool. But there are a lot of cool zombies, as well. There are almost all the Far Future zombies, as you are seeing, the Octo Zombie from Big Wave Beach, and the same with the Gargantua from that world. The Jester Zombie from Dark Ages, the Fire Breather from Penny's Pursuit, the uh, the uh, the circus levels, etc. And there are some cool new plants too. For example, the Bong Choy, the Wasabi Whip, the Bramble Bush, the Infinite, the Bloomerang, etc. Look, I love Plants vs. Zombies too, but the way EA changed it to be a, crash, a cash grab is terrible. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I recorded literally 20 minutes worth of unnecessary footage. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Like, actually, I have a lot of footage playing. That, that also yes uh, at the bottom right there yeah that's the recorder uh, it's what I used to use on my uh, old tablet when I started my channel yeah so uh, I guess I'll showcase some of this footage while I'm at it uh, this was kind of embarrassing I'll just skip over that I guess this was kind of cool the top left there I just kept clicking the Apple motor. I was trying to click the Apple motor, but I hit the view recorder option oh yeah there are costumes in the game I forgot to mention that there are costumes in the game and like the final smashes in Super Smash Brothers were like the uh, the final move in Mortal Kombat of course I play Xenomorph in MK I think it was 11 MK 10 I don't remember which game it was Uh, yeah.
Also, the Gatling P that we uh, released recently was, uh, I think is the most expensive plant in the game. Yeah, but not of all time. That that still goes to Cop Cannon. I think that was 500 some. Yeah, the Gatling P here was 400, which is a lot. Oh, the Tile Turtle's a cool plant that exists. There's now a speed up feature. Um. Yeah, I recommend uh, playing the game for yourself, trying it out. Yeah. There's Gold Bloom. That thing exists. Um, it originally had its own quest. I think you had to be connected out into the internet to uh, do the quest. But, uh, yeah, they made it a pay plant since it's. And it's, I think it's the most popular pay plant. I think my phone froze there. <laughs> I don't know. Replaying this footage, uh. Yeah. I, I'm kind of embarrassed on what I've been doing. Like, I know this video is getting too long, but, like. I'm kind of interested in what I've been doing. Because, like, I recorded this footage, like, maybe five hours ago. Now we're watching it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have nothing to say. <laughs> oh, look, my phone froze there. That's pretty cool. What else is there of footage that I can show? Oh, my phone froze there again. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to show this one part. Then I'll... Uh, Oh, Jesus Christ, I keep dropping my mic. I don't know why I keep doing it. I just keep dropping my mic. I apologize <laughs> For any eardrops I blasted on accident Um, Yeah Why did I put wasabi wisps here in the back? Well, I could have probably put them back there to like hit zombies that were coming back there. Yeah, I'm going to stop the recording here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.